Hey kid, want to watch a YouTube video? I was just telling Savannah that it is getting downright spacious in here. The more progress we make on the boat, the more space there is. For the next nine days, we want to have super productive days. Dude, the wind out there. We plan them out really well, everything that we need to do. Hopefully make a ton of progress in the next nine days, and then we'll take our next break day. Yesterday we took a break day, it was wonderful. We went to a wildlife preserve and looked at animals and birds out, so. We are doing spray foam for insulation. We decided to not do the pink sheets on the ceiling. We're gonna do spray foam insulation. I'm gonna spray some practice sprays down here in the bilge section where no one's gonna see it, won't matter. Um, and then we'll go along, like Steven said, along the ceiling and do the whole V-birth. And if for some reason it sucks, we just won't do the rest of the boat. <laughs> I think it'll be good though. I think it's gonna be excellent. There is a C-clamp holding the phone to a tripod. If I think ahead far enough, there'll be a picture of it on the screen now. Look at him go. The master at work. Ah. Yep. Oh. Master at work. <laughs> Just like you were saying. <laughs> this will be a major transformation. For better? Hopefully. For worse? Possibly. But definitely a major transformation. Or we could just not foam. You didn't even want to foam down there at all. Now you want to foam all of no, it. No, foam at all. Foam everything. Foam it all. Alright, we gotta move. Alright, we're gonna foam it all. Foam it all. Foam it all. You said you're not foaming after noon, so I say we foam until dark, and then since we can't sleep, we keep foaming. <laughs> Welcome to my humble abode of tape and plastic. There it is. Ready for springtime. Are you excited? I'm excited and nervous. Savannah really wants to be the one to spray. And I have no qualms with that, so... I've literally never done this before, or anything like this before, so we'll just see how this looks. Woo! Wow, look at that. All right. All right, all right, all right. Nice. Dude, that's looking freaking that great. Living inside a cloud now. It's all puffy. All right, check this out. Blue tape coming up. It's only been, what What would you say, like half an hour or something since we did this wall? Yeah. And it's already pretty dried. Perfect. It's coming right up along the edge where we wanted it to. Are you going to unfold this thing today or I what? I don't know. What's up? I'm I'm struggling. I'm sorry. It's the pressure. I can't handle the pressure. There we go. Got it. You could not ask for a nicer day in the beginning of January. It's warm and sunny. It's good because we can ventilate out the smoke from this foam cutting that's happening. exciting material that we got for decoration and now that we have the foam down on the walls we're gonna roll it out and see how it looks we just opened this a moment ago so we haven't actually seen it up yet oh yeah Ooh. i mean i don't if know anything, about y'all but i think this looks excellent it looks like could have, should have cut it. Uh, no, that'll be perfect. We'll put, we'll put your cut side on the bottom. Oh, dude, that looks awesome. Yeah, it's gonna feel so awesome in here. Oh, yeah, I just want to hug it. 
it's done. It looks so awesome. It feels really great in here. I am loving the color of this with the bamboo on the back wall. We're redirecting our time effort to getting foam on the rest of the boat. We've got plastic up again, but in a new space. Got the mask taped up, taped plastic. We're gonna foam this, foam more of the ceiling, foam back there. It's day two of our nine productive days. Day one was a little bit of like a false start. We didn't really get that much done, but we got all this sprayed all the way back to here. And Savannah's done spraying for the night. So we're gonna stop there. We pulled the plastic down and then we'll run through with the hot knife and smooth it out. It's pretty thin in some places. I mean, it's not a very thick coating, but I think it will help tremendously in insulation. And it protects us from having itchy fiberglass exposed. Day three of nine productive days. Back at it again. It takes so long. It takes so... Oh, it takes... No, you're totally fine. <laughs> it takes so long to put all the plastic up and tape everything off. It's crazy. It seems like it wouldn't take that long, but it takes forever. Having a typical dinner experience, sharing a little microwave meat and beans and join the new foamed boat. It's pretty amazing how much of a difference it makes. Savannah and I both love it and I kind of thought this would feel really unfinished too but I actually really like it. Savannah likes it too so say all you want we love it. <laughs> it's the end of our third day of our nine productive days. And um, we're making incredible progress, I feel like, even though we're not done yet. Keep trying as hard as you can or give up as hard as you can. <laughs> so, not giving up yet, so we'll have to keep trying as hard as we can. Yeah, this little ice chunk's coming down. So, staying warm. Got the insulation in just in time, really, because it would be pretty cold in here without it. Check that out. Check that out. There's an old frame and it's all fitted in place. We're gonna get some of this. We'll cut something out that fits and use that for our little doors right here. It's awesome. Ice. We got the engine for dinghy, and there's just stairs. Whoa, look at the ice. Wow, that probably was ice over on the shore then. I needed to readjust the length of the dock lines. It was very difficult, as you can see, they're frozen. So. During our like big nine days of productivity, we were kind of thinking that and we would like divide and conquer, but we've decided that that just doesn't work very well for us. Um, I thought it'd be good because he knows more about the electrical and he could work on electrical while I did like painting and other stuff, but we just work so much better together. Our morale is better together. Um, so yeah, got to start working on projects together even if I don't necessarily know what's going on. I can still be super helpful. And same with Steven when he's doing kitchen stuff with me. So that's the plan moving forward. And uh, we'll see you next week. All right. So the last few days, we've been blaming it on the cold. I don't really know why it is. Just having less fun at it than we normally are. Normally we're having tons of fun doing this. 
then it's very cold. And so I was like, does that paint say that it needs to be like used within certain temperature like limits? Is it too cold to use this paint? And <laughs> she tips the jug to read it and the lid pops open and spills a huge thing of paint onto the floor that we've been cleaning up. But it made a really big paint spill. And then Savannah popped this board up to try and get some of the big paint puddle on there and immediately steps and trips in the hole that she created by lifting up the board. And then I bent down to help her and this stick over here in the bucket stabbed me in the butt. And it was just, <laughs> it was just a remarkable low point for, uh, for working on the boat. And I wanted to be transparent about that, that it's not always fun. As they say, if you uh, fall off the horse, you gotta get right back up again. So here we are getting some more painting done for real this time. What am I supposed to say? <laughs> Keep going, keep going. Oops. Got on video. Holy sh! <laughs> um, let's go see what that was. Oh, it's the board. Ooh, we should go grab it. Go, go, go now, fast, go ah! fast, go fast. <laughs> now I'm recording. <laughs> recording yourself, not helping.